Um, so these are little gadgets, gizmos, whatever you want to call them that I've found to be uh, quite handy in my travels over there. Um, first is going to be some sort of travel wallet. Inevitably, you're going to be dealing with your passport quite a bit. You're going to need some pens, business card, whatever it may be. It is really nice to have something to kind of keep everything in a little group. It can slide in and out of your check bag really quickly. You can keep some cash in there, that sort of thing. This thing has lived with me for years and it is just one of those mandatory pieces that comes with me everywhere. Highly recommend it. Next, as we've talked about, wait, wait, wait. You can only have three, uh, 33 uh, pounds checked, 11 pounds carry on. Very common phone call I get is, how do I fit this all into my bag? What do I do? So what I like to use is actually a fish scale, okay? So I'm gonna be referring to this as I pack my bag. I start with a big table like this. I start laying out everything I need. This is required, this is kind of optional. These are clothes and stuff. Now I'm gonna start putting it into my check bag and in my carry-on bag. I'm now gonna hook that stuff these scales are very accurate, pretty easy to find. If you don't have, you know, one of these standard bathroom scales, you can go into, you know, Cabela's, Sportsman's, all these different places. This is a great thing to have at your house to travel, uh, to get ready for your travel. Couple other things, lighter comes in handy more times than you would think. Um, whether it's, you know, smoking that celebratory uh, cigar or whatever it may be. Always have a lighter with you, that's a great tool to have. A pair of braid scissors. Um, now, it sounds funny I'm saying braid scissors. Essentially, they're very efficient at cutting through most things. They typically have a dull point, so it's not gonna poke through your bag or something. But little scissors can come in handy, whether, again, it's making kind of an adjustment to uh, the end of your GT fly line, trying to shorten up a fly, anything like that. I've found a little pair of scissors to be quite handy with uh, being, you know, there once I've kind of set up and on the water. Another one, uh, don't leave home without it, is some sort of headlamp. Well, most of these places are very well lit. There are some times where you're gonna be either, you know, riding your bicycle back to your bungalow or walking back to your pod or something like that, and it can be quite dark. This is an easy thing to, uh, you know, slip into your pack, doesn't take up much weight or space and uh, can come in handy for you. A bag that you might want to leave behind. And what I mean by that is once you land in Mahe, that next morning before you load up onto your charter flight to the destination that you're traveling to, you might have some stuff that you want to leave behind because you don't need it on the island. And it was taking up some weight. So what I like to do is I have a little bag like this that I've labeled with my name. And I'm going to put my travel shoes in there, my travel clothes that essentially I wanted to burn anyway because you've been wearing them for so long. I'm going to stuff them in there. It's going to zip up nicely. I can hand this to one of the Blue Safari representatives and they can store it for me for the week. Another subtle thing, uh, quite handy though, is some sort of easy bag. And what I'm going to use this for is maybe a laundry bag that's going to live in my room. It might act as my boot storage uh, at the end of the week um, where they might be damp or something. I want to put them in something that kind of separates them. Again, virtually no space at all, no weight. This thing is going to come in handy for that laundry bag or keeping your boots away from the rest of your items you're trying to keep dry. Another optional item, you'll see them, you know, all the guides wearing them, not necessary, but if you want to get a tailing glove, it's a great thing to have. Um, in general with these, it can be a mechanics glove, a fishing specific glove, doesn't really matter. We're just looking for good coverage on the, the palm. When you're handling fish like a giant trevally, they have a very sharp scoop that's kind of right where their tail begins, where you want some protection before you grab them. Um, well, you can use your buff or hat or something, it's just a little less stylish. The guys will often give you their glove, but if you wanted to bring a glove, just something basic like this, and then I poke a carabiner on it so I can hook it to my pack. These will get very stinky once you've handled a fish, so do not put this inside your pack. 
as you're fishing through the week, you're going to be doing lots of stripping, just a basic, um, you know, roll of athletic tape. Uh, you can go the waterproof route, uh, although I found those to not stick as well. It doesn't have as good of an adhesive, so I'm just using a, you know, kind of your classic sports masking tape uh, that I can tape up my fingers uh, if I have a line burn or something like that. Lip balm, uh, subtle, you know, seems obvious, but again, dealing with the, the sun all the time, you're going to probably dehydrate yourself inevitably just because you're so busy fishing. Just slide one of these into your pack. Um, <laughs> this is a funny one, but uh, this is something I, I'm t telling more people to bring and more people are telling me they really appreciate it. Uh, this is baby's... Uh, essentially diaper rash lotion, okay? We talked about chafage a little bit earlier. Um, this is gonna help relieve any pain from chafage. So I'm gonna keep it inside my bag instead of a little Ziploc so it doesn't pop. But this is just in case I get that uncomfort uh, down low and uh, this will quickly solve your problem. Last thing I wanna touch on real quick is the question we get often of, what should I bring the guides? Um, you know, it's really cool to gift your guide something additional from the tips you leave them at the end of the week. And, you know, some of the obvious things you'll see over there is these boots are, or these guides are being really hard on their boots or some of their equipment. And I highly, highly recommend leaving those things behind. But what else can you bring them that's super meaningful? Well, think about where they are in the world. They're in the middle of the Indian Ocean. There's not a proper fly shop around. So what I recommend is fly tying equipment um, or materials. So things like bucktail, hackle feathers, hooks, stick on the eyes. This is gold to a guide over there. So very easy gift to get while you're picking up flies for your, uh, for your trip. And this goes such a long way. Well, thanks for watching. And I hope this was helpful. Just remember, you can find all this information in the pre-trip planner that we sent you. We'll see you on the water.